Hey guys, Chris here from flippingcars.co.uk and welcome to my new vlog. Um, quite a few of you in the comments section below asked me to do a bit more of a, a regular update on my YouTube channel. Um, so this is my response to that, of course I will. Um, I appreciate all the great comments that I get and I always appreciate the guys and girls out there who subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do, it only takes a second, it doesn't cost you anything, but it just means that you'll get my updates. In 2017, I'm really going to concentrate on the Big Flip series. I've got quite a lot of content to put together, but more about that in a different video. In this vlog, I just wanted to give you an update of what I've been doing in the week, what it's like to flip cars for a living. Um, as any of you know who have been on my full-time course who have spoken to me, this is my full-time business. I don't do anything else. I buy and sell cars for a living. Flipping Cars Limited is my business. It's my way of making my money. So this week, it's been quite an exciting week. If you watched my video last week, the day in the life flipping cars, flipping vans, you'll know that I've bought and sold several vans. Um, I got rid of my first batch uh, by last weekend and I bought a couple more and I bought this AA van. In fact, I actually bought two AA vans. Uh, one's still stuck at Misham because there's an issue with the, the barrel, the ignition barrel. It's collapsed and so I can't drive it off site and I'm trying to get BCA to cough up and pay for that, which is like pulling teeth. Um, but I also bought this AA van and I thought I'd have a go at fixing the windscreen myself because when I got it back, how I missed it, it's like the size of a golf ball, a massive chip right in the driver's line of vision in the windscreen. And realistically, I think we have to replace the screen, but I've been on a windscreen chip repair course some time back and I thought to myself, Let's have a go at fixing it. So this is my attempt at fixing the screen. Um, let's see how I got on. As you can see, it's a perfect fix. You can't even see where the previous chip was, can you? I'm putting your leg. This is the real screen. I couldn't fix it. I had a good go. Um, it's a million times better than it was, but it's still going to be an illegal screen. So I called out National Windscreens and Navy Place a screen for me. What do you think is the cost of a new screen on a Ford Transit van? Leave your guess below in the comment section before I tell you. So pause the video now. Don't cheat. Write your guess what a new windscreen on a Ford Transit van would cost. And the answer's coming up. It cost me £120. Really cheap. If I'd known it had been £120 before I attempted the fix, I wouldn't have even bothered. Um, that's just so cheap. So in future, if I get a Transit van and it's got chips in the windscreen in the driver's vision, it's getting a new screen. I'm not wasting two hours of my time faffing about trying to fix screens. Absolute complete waste of time. So what else have I done this week? Well, I bought Mario Balotelli's old Mercedes ML350. And when I say old, it's not actually old. It's a 63 plate with 34,000 on the clock. It actually belonged to Kasami from Knott's Forest first. Um, and he lent it out to Mario Balotelli for 18 months. Um, he filled in the V5, but he didn't send it off. Uh, so it had his name in there and it also had his address in. And and of course, I googled the address. I wanted to see where Mario Balotelli lived when he played for Liverpool. Um, have a look at this house. How good, how cool is this house? Of course a footballer is going to live in a place like this. Um, if I keep flipping cars, one day I will live in a place like this too. This is a look round Mario Balotelli's ML350 and Kazami's old 350. It's really nice. Um, full lever interior, so it's got the lever pack upgrade. And it's also got the mirror upgrade as well, so it's, it's a really high spec ML350. I bought it off another trader. I never actually bought it at the auctions. I saw it come up and it was at the right money. And there's several thousand pounds margin in this, so I thought, right, I'm definitely after that. It's worth putting the money in. It's a lot of money to tie up in one car. I'm in it for, I don't want to say how much I paid for it because I've still got it on the market, um, but I paid a fair bit of money for it. Um, so with the vans that I've bought, the new cars that I've bought, stuff I've done for Ireland, I've even been buying stuff online for somebody as well, for, for a couple of customers. I didn't win two this week, but I did win one of the ones that I went for. Uh, gentlemen, we got going, gentlemen, coming in, sir, gentlemen, 88. The goal, gentlemen, TBI, 1161 plate, gentlemen, here we go, MOT, April, guy, nice one, with that one, 42, 42, 42, 42, 42, 
going to sell it on the net. Five in the hole. Five in the hole. One net. 51. What's mine to be selling? 51 online. 51 net. 37. 38. 38, 3, 10, 8, 9, 9. Um, this is the Gulf and that's going over to Ireland next week as well. That's going to Northern Ireland as well. So funny enough, over the last few months I've been doing loads to Southern Ireland, but now I'm selling quite a few more to Northern Ireland as well. Maybe there's a shortage of good quality motors over in Northern Ireland. So as well as buying Balotelli's ML350, buying and selling a couple of cars, buying and selling a couple of vans, uh, fixing some vans, working on my website, creating YouTube videos. What else have I done? Well, I've also set up my FIFO account, my independent review account. Have a look at this. It's independent reviews of my car auction buying service, something that I'm going to grow massively. I think it's really important to host some feedback separately to my own website. So I signed up to FIFO as well. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Please do leave me a comment below and tell me what sort of stuff you want me to film in the new year. I'm already planning some awesome stuff for the coming year, but it'd be great to get your feedback. Whilst you're there, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up, it all helps. Much appreciated. Speak to you soon.